Hello and welcome back to the Tezos Wallet Review Series sponsored by Tezos Capital. My name is Ken and in today's video tutorial we are going to demonstrate the Galleon Desktop Wallet for Windows. First we will show how to send a transaction and second we will show how to delegate your XTZ towards a baker. The baker used for this demonstration will be Tezos Capital. Galleon is a deployment of Tezzery, an open source wallet framework for Tezos, supporting both software and hardware wallets in eight languages on Mac, Windows, and Linux. The Galleon wallet is made by the Cryptonomic team and was one of the first wallets to be released to support the Tezos mainnet. To download the Galleon wallet, go to the following link, www.galleon-wallet.tech. Here you will see the option to download for Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Our example will be for Windows. Click Windows and Install. When the wallet first pops up, select your language. We are going to choose English. Click Continue. There will be a prompt to read the terms of service and privacy policy. Click I agree after reading. Now you have the option to either create a new wallet, open an existing wallet, or connect to Ledger. For our example today, we are going to click Create a new wallet. First, you must create a wallet password. We recommend writing this down on a piece of paper to not forget. Confirm wallet passwords match and then click the Create New Wallet button on the left. This will prompt you to save the Tezos wallet file on your PC. Pick a location and name your file. Hit Save. You will now see a green check mark on the Galleon wallet screen showing your wallet file name. Now, the blue Create Wallet button on the bottom is ready to be clicked. We will see the Add an Account section where you can either import your fundraiser wallet, create a new account, or restore from backup. To import your fundraiser wallet, you'll have to enter the 15-word secret key, the fundraiser password, the public key hash, the fundraiser email address, and the activation code. Once entered, hit Import. To restore from backup, you'll need to enter your 15-word secret key, the seed phrase. But in our example, we're going to create new account. You'll be presented with a new 15-word seed phrase. Write down your seed phrase on a piece of paper and keep it in a safe place. You will need the seed phrase to recover your accounts. Once recorded, hit the Next button. Here, you will be prompted to enter certain words from your seed phrase in the order in which they were given to you. It is important to keep track of the order of these words were presented to you when writing them down in the first place. Green check marks will appear as the words are correctly input. Once finished, hit Next. Your Tezos account seed is backed up. Good work. Click Create Account. Congratulations, you have created a new wallet with Galleon. You will now be able to see the TZ1 manager address, which is your wallet's public address. Feel free to share this with anyone trying to send you XTZ. I'm going to fund my wallet now by sending XTZ to this newly generated public address so that we may demonstrate more of the wallet's functions. Great. Now that I have some XTZ in my wallet, I will demonstrate how to send a transaction from Galleon. Click on the Send header. Here, you can enter the recipient address. This will either be a TZ1 address or a KT1 address. And you'll be able to enter the amount of XTZ you want to send. Select a fee from the predefined range, low, medium, or high, or if you want a custom fee. The higher the fee, the more priority will be placed on confirming your transactions. Click Send. Double check the summary, and if all looks good, enter your wallet password and hit Confirm. A green confirmation box appears with a link to view the transaction on the Tezos Block Explorer TZ scan. After some confirmations, you will see the transaction on the blockchain. You have successfully sent XTZ using the Galleon wallet. Next, we are going to set up a delegation contract to delegate our XTZ towards Tezos Capital, the premier Tezos delegation service. 
Here you will see the Tezos Capital website. The Tezos Capital Delegation Service is for all XTZ holders. The Tezos Capital Delegation Service, powered by Polychain Labs, puts your XTZ staking rights to work by securing the Tezos network. In return, your rights generate rewards for every block they bake and endorse. You keep 80% of these rewards and Tezos Capital uses the other 20% to run their business. Here we can find the Tezos Capital delegation address and we want to copy this. Heading back over to the Galleon wallet, you will click the plus sign next to add a delegate. Here you can paste the Tezos Capital delegation address. Select the amount of XTZ you want to delegate Select the fee from the predefined low, medium, and high range, and see the amount of gas needed for the cost of contract creation. The total XTZ needed for the contract in your remaining balance are outlined to the right. Always make sure you have enough XTZ to cover the total. If everything looks good, enter your wallet password and click delegate. Again, we will see a green confirmation box appear on the bottom of the screen with a link to view the transaction on the Tezos Block Explorer TZ scan. And again, after some confirmations, you will see the transaction on the blockchain. On the Galleon wallet screen, you will see a loading icon with retrieving new address message appearing below the add a delegate section. Once the transaction gets a few confirmations on the blockchain, the contract will appear here. The delegation contract will have its own unique KT1 public address. In the future, you can send additional XTZ directly into this KT1 address to increase the amount of XTZ you are delegating with Tezos Capital. Congratulations, you have successfully delegated XTZ towards Tezos Capital using the Galleon desktop wallet. You will soon start enjoying the rewards for participating in the Tezos baking ecosystem. The Galleon wallet is one of my favorite Tezos wallets, as it seems very robust and gives you full explanation of transaction summaries. This is great so we can make sure we have enough XTZ in our wallet to ensure the transactions go through. Anyone with a PC, Mac, or Linux machine can use the Galleon wallet to delegate XTZ towards Tezos Capital and start earning Tezos staking rewards. Thank you for watching everyone and stay tuned for the next video in the Tezos Wallet Delegation Series sponsored by Tezos Capital. Until next time, take care.